What's up guys, my name is Cameron, Brand from After Cameron, and today I'm going to be teaching everybody at home a tutorial of how to make your games go faster, so for example The Walking Dead, Minecraft, Euro Truck Simulator 2, whatever you want to play, you can play it faster. Now what you, to do this, all you have to do is go into your search engine in your browser and search something called Razer um, Cortex, there it is, and basically this is a software that you can actually launch and instead of just like leaving your computer um, just normal when you play a game, it actually like puts it to highest priority so it's a lot quicker. Now this does legitimately work, I use it myself and it can boot your FPS by at least 20 FPS. Like my Minecraft used to be at like 30 FPS, now it's at something like 30. 40, which is really quite good at max um, settings so it's a really quite a good software to use and also even if you have quite a fast computer it's good to use because it sorts out your drives so for example if it goes over 60 fps um, you can I think you can like set it up so it is like a max of 60 um, fps but that should be a new feature that should be added but basically I think it's like 60 fps if your computer can manage it it turns down the priority to still give you a good fps but it makes sure it doesn't use your drives drivers too much which is pretty good if you want to keep your computer in good shape now it's free so all you're going to want to do is click download now and you do require a razor account you can do that via the app though and once you've got a razor account you don't have to do anything else go through the setup just by clicking download now and you can go straight in now let's go to the desktop and show you how to use it so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a link um kind of a, um, a, a desktop shortcut to whatever you'd like to play um so, for example, if you want to play The Walking Dead, put it in the desktop. Obviously, this is optional. Um, if you're going to have to find exactly where you installed it. Be going into your um, computer and then your program files, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the way to do it. But I recommend if you are installing a Steam game, I recommend making a folder. I haven't done it, but I will. Make a folder, put all your games in there, and then when you're looking for a new path folder where your games are, you can just do that. So, to to use it double click on razor cortex make sure you put it as your create link in desktop make sure you don't set it to start up when you like just um start up your computer because that can lag out your startup and it can take a long time to load so to lo launch the program simply double click razor cortex and instead of going onto your games via the desktop you're going to want to use this instead now it has a swingy noise you won't hear that hopefully but to add a game, it is really easy. As you can see, I've already got games that are already on my desktop. Click on the Add button. Give it a second to load up. I've got a really slow computer, as you can see. And you can click on Add Games. And as you can see, everything on the desktop is there. Now, I believe it takes stuff from, like, you, yeah, it's just your desktop. You can click on Add Games by just pressing Add Games. So give it a second just to load. And you can find exactly where it is. Now to do this, um, you need to go to computer, your C drive, for example, to program files H6. This is normally where people um, install stuff. And say if I wanted to do city car driving, if I still have that bin. Do I? No, I don't. Some of them, as you can see, I've deleted to try and clear my memory. I will be doing that soon. But let me just try and find, for example, on a game that I like. Yeah, let's just do Scratch. Why not? Okay, so as you can see, there it is. Look, there, it, there's the thing. It will look like that. It's just an application. And to use it, you just click on it once. And you click on open. And, I th and it goes through some verification. Normally, you're looking for a shortcut. Okay, um, let's go for Super Hexagon. No, I've deleted that. As you can see, I've been deleting quite a few things. But if I wanted to, for example, speed up, for example... I don't know, but there isn't any there because I don't save them in the C drive very often. But Steam should have them. Yeah, they do. Right, so for example, if you want to find a Steam game, you just click on Steam where you've installed it. Steam apps. Um, common. Um, whatever game it is. So for example, TF2. And there it is. It's this thing here. You click on open. And hopefully it won't open TF2. It didn't, which is good. And there it is. So you can just click on that and it'll add it. So if I click on that one because I don't want it to open... There we go, it's added. So now I can go back, and there it is. And you can click play just by pressing it, and it'll open. Now, I don't know why Minecraft isn't there, but if you want to add Minecraft, make sure it's on the desktop or an easy folder. And I thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I've today shown you simply how to um, speed up your games to keep your computer running nice and quick. And yeah, so thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys later. And there will be more tutorials soon. I keep the, the noise is really annoying. So thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe. All the links are in the description, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye!